Yes, Damien, you can edit your photos. More, What's up, everybody? It's your host, Oliver Nye, here with Big Bass Streams. Got a special guest all. in the boat. Introduce yourself. How you doing? My name's Damien. Here to shoot with Oliver. Catch some bass, take some photos. More. That's what's up. There's we are no back on Home Lake X. Big bass uh, those of you guys that are from here know where I'm at, and you now it's no big secret. Good luck chasing bites here. It's a tough fishery. Go check it out. I don't know if you guys can see the bottom, but I can. And we're in 9, 10 feet of water. A little abnormal for this place. He does a lot of inshore spotted bay bass, calico bass, and uh, island fishing yeah. here off of our coast. It's been a while since he's caught a green bass. So the, the salty guys out here call them green bass yeah. because they got checkered bass, they got barred sand bass, they got spotted bay bass. So it makes it real easy. They just call them green bass. Uh, so you don't really hear that from other parts of the country Okay. because it's really the only bass. The green bass for us. Or brown bass would be a small mouth. Yeah. So that's about it. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna try and get Damien on a, on a fish. Oh yeah. We've had a, a pretty good bite. I've had some good engagement on the big bait and they're also chasing shad around. So we'll be throwing some uh, jerk baits, some finesse swim baits probably, and uh, some clear water tactics are gonna come into play here. All right, so stay tuned. You pumped, man? You I'm excited. It? I'm excited to get some good photos. Finally catch a, a large mouth, I'm sorry. And uh, hang out with Oliver. Should That's be good, good time, good weather. And by the time we're done with Damien, we're going to get him to ditch these things because they ain't no good oh, yeah. for you. I can't smoke in this park anyways. No no bueno. No There's bueno. no sea lions So all here. you kids watching, eh, don't do it. Don't, don't do, do it. it. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> don't drink either. And most of the shad is really small, so we've got the killer here. Got an Okashira screw head and a three inch spark shad. Real subtle, water's really clear, so we've got a translucent color here. This is a salt and pepper color. That's gonna catch some fish today. I can almost guarantee it. All right. And then for our, for our final option, we're gonna put on a jerk bait. And I'm gonna go with the silent version today because these fish get quite a bit of pressure here. And I've got the Kohoku ghost pattern here. Trim that old knot off. Got a short leader, got a snap, helps facilitate quick changes, lets that bait swim to its uh, full potential. There you go. Let's see what we can uh, wrestle up from the depths, huh? Ready, Damien? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do it. Oh, about time. Oh, you got one. Yeah, I got one. <laughs> Monster. It is a monster. Oh, a big crappie. Get out of town. Dude, it's a big crappie. Oh, yeah. Ultimate game fish. <laughs> Dude, that's a tank, yo. Dude, that's so pretty. That is a beast. That's a nice, that is so cool. Yeah, dude, there's some of my favorite fish, bro. I ain't seen one of these in years. That's a big one, bro. Is it? Yeah. Thank you, Ollie. Can I get a photo of you with it now? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Check it out. The skunk is off the dream machine. Oh, gosh, sorry. That is a big male black crappie right there. What a beautiful fish, huh? Yeah, you said you haven't seen one of these in a while. I haven't seen this in a long time. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's probably a 13, 14 inch crappie. It's a real one there. Big male. These fish are, they're getting ready to go, man. 
So the crappie actually spawn before the largemouth do. Huh. Yeah, I ate that plus two. Big crappie love mega bass jerk baits. So they're spawning before the largemouth. Yeah, so they'll set up and make their beds and actually go through their spawning ritual right before the largemouth do. So that's kind of a good sign. First week of February, uh, things are a little bit ahead of schedule. Here, good. Let's, uh, let's see what this thing uh, measures out at. We got 12 inches here up to 25. Yeah, 13 inch crappie. That ain't nothing. It's not Beautiful. too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll put them in the well just so we can compare them to a, a bass later on. To Sounds good. Give you guys some appreciation of how big this guy really is. That's good. All right guys, a little midday update. We have uh, fished for a couple hours now. I've actually seen a couple of big fish up shallow, but other than that, it's been kind of devoid of life. This water visibility is insanely good right now. And we just came into a zone, saw one on the live scope, 10 feet out, five feet down. I look over and sure enough, man, there's about a four pounder cruising along and uh, marked a bunch of fish out here. And we got the first fish in the boat on the deep jerk bait. So we're gonna try and build on that. Finally found some life and uh, see if we get Damien on the board, huh? Yeah, it's my turn. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Little one. Huh? He's not that little. Oh, that's an interesting one. He's got like black spots on him and stuff. Fatty. Dude, these are legit some of them. Dude, they're the prettiest fish in the state, in my opinion. Oh, dude, there's another one with them. It was. Look at that. That a boy, Oliver. <laughs> cool. Yeah, Oli. Dog. Can we get that? Let me get this thing like that. Ooh, it looks awkward. I want you to lip it though, Ollie. I gotcha. Oh, see, it's tough to lip these because the what? the position of the hooks. Oh, okay, okay. But here, I got you here. How's that? That's rad. Yes, dog. You know how long have been wanting this shot for, man? Um, one? Two, there we go. A little bit more. Yes, yeah, sir. Look at that. First of the right kind. Yeah. Look at this belly on this guy. These fish are pretty much always in a pristine condition because nobody can catch them. <laughs> I mean, that's part of the theory, I think. Uh, just a tip when you guys are catching fish on hard baits like this, you got to be careful on positioning the fish so they don't get you when they shake because I've definitely got a couple trebles in my hands. Uh, when they're hooked in these precarious spots. But I dykes. actually, nah. He said dikes. You're such a salty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't Quiet. really use dikes too much in the in the fresh side. Uh, it's funny because uh, you know I grew up as a deckhand in yeah. my youth too, and it's just a whole different fishing culture, just 20 miles away. <laughs> it's cool, man. But yeah. This hooks did its job. Beautiful yeah. little largemouth. So Great. that's a nice keeper. And just to give you guys a little compare and contrast, like, look at this. I'm just gonna let it recuperate. I mean, which is a bigger fish? Yeah, really. Uh, look at yeah. that. Look at that. That's cool. We'll let them kind of lounge out in the halt and the uh, scroll for a sec. But it looks like we're on a little bit of a pattern now. 
been uh, fishing this uh, area, been marking a ton of life on. Damien actually just farmed one on the uh, little screw head. Typical. <laughs> and then uh, we made a little color change, wind picked up a little bit. So I went to the uh, Sexy French Pearl Plus 2. And uh, I don't know if you guys saw in the video, but on the pause while I was like doing something, think, it all just sat there. So we're on the right track, uh, anticipating a little bit of an afternoon flurry. So here we go. You guys having fun yet? Damien, you having fun yet, bro? I'm having fun. And a good one. We haven't even made it, made it there. That bass photo you let me get is pretty much one I've been wanting for so long. Sick. You gotta keep in mind too, man, like that's the biggest market. Right? Bass fishing? Yeah, you can find them in 49 states. Oh! Jesus. <laughs> I like the jerk bait right now. Yeah, I'm gonna... You got another photo of it doing his thing. Oh, another big crappie, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> That's rad, bro. <laughs> we get some full on hold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Another big crappie. Wow. This is a big one. Where's my other handheld? Which one? Oh. That's a fat crappie. This looks like a big female. A little bit lighter in color. Big old fat and gravid. Look at that thing. Full on pre spawn. Big gut on her. Look at that. How's that? Beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, they are. Oh, man. That's so sick. All right, we got three in the boat. All right, guys, so we're gonna make a small adjustment. We gotta get Damien on board. He's had a couple of short bites on the screw head, and there are certain days and times when this is what they wanna just murder. But right now, they're, they're not really committing to it. So I'm gonna make a small adjustment. We're gonna show them something just a little bit different. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little eighth ounce war bait underspin. And the simple change of that jig head style with that little bit of flash from the blade. It's a different vibration than the uh, screw blade puts off. Once again, a trilene knot is what I use for my connection knot 95% of the time. Trim that down. And we're gonna use the same uh, bait on the body. Really clear water right now. So we're gonna go with this Morocco Shad and this 2.8 inch Hazadong. Hazadong. And always take care to rig this thing as straight as possible push it up to the bend you're gonna want to kind of like make a mental image of where it would sit flush against the head okay and it's one straight solid go with some confidence and then push that all the way up real carefully around that bait keeper and voila oh. now big bass will eat this but big crappie love this thing too and we're, obviously we've put two in the box now and I know there's more crappie out there so uh, we're gonna try and get Damien his PB Crappie and bass at the same time. It'll huh? work. Here, what you think about that, playa? I think it'll work perfectly. Yeah. What? It, yeah, have you caught crappie before? Never. No, huh? Never had not a black too crappie. many of those in the harbor. Not too many of those in the harbor. <laughs> not too many of those at Tanner Bank. Right. So hopefully cool. we can try to get one. Hopefully see if this works. Sick man. And here's a little, uh, you got? know, just to up our odds. Oh yeah. Just clean off the top of that dynasty right there. That'll con convince them to hold on to it a little bit longer. You don't even have to open it, like just that residue. Like literally, I would just clean the, the cap off with the bait. Are you serious? That's all I need? Yeah, that's all you need, man. It doesn't take much. All right. And try not to get on your finger because that stuff does not go anywhere. <laughs> it's kind of nasty. It's tough to explain. There you go. Let's try to get one here. All right, man. Good luck. Thanks. the old cell phone rip bait bites. I think I might have another magnificent game fish here. I do. Oh, it's a really sluggish bass. What 
do we have? Oh. Another big crappie. Yo, look at that thing. They're getting bigger. Good job, boy. They're getting bigger. They're growing. Oh. Look at that. Yeah. Hold it right there, Ollie. Right there in the light. One, two, one more. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these things, dude. That's so beautiful. Dude, these things are huge. Wow. Big slabs, huh? Dude, these are big crappies. The big crappies. All right, so apparently these big crappie are not spooked by the by the uh, helicopter drills over there. Another big, big black crappie ate the jerk bait on the paws. I was literally on my Instagram checking messages and such, and uh, tick, there he was. Look at that thing. My gosh. Now most of the time they're hand sized. Big, big crappies. Nice crappie. Love it. So yeah, you gotta keep that thing on the near the bottom. There's nothing to really snag on. Yeah, don't wait till we move. Oh, there we go. Called it. This might be a bass. Oh yeah, he's coming up. It's probably a bass. Yep. Oh yeah. Crappie don't want to jump like that. So epic! I'm throwing a jerk bait on you. <laughs> Look at that. Look how fat this little guy is, man. It's so pretty. Like, look it's at him. So pretty. Aren't they cool? That's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish, man. Can I get a photo of that? Yeah, absolutely you can. Let me get my little thing out here. Check that out, guys. On the paws. Real cold water. Just tick. On the paws. On the paws. Here, swap. <laughs> I like him. Beautiful fish, though. Eat the jerk. Poquito. Poquito. Thanks, man. Thanks, dog. Keep the egg now. Sweet. Ugh, it's crazy when the, the crappie that we're catching are bigger than the large mouth. I mean, they crack this thing good. You notice how there's no crazy bait hook set mm -hmm. uh, on the hard bait? Mm -hmm. They hook themselves. So when people swing on them and stuff, it's when you start barely hooking them. Yeah. Like, dude, he had like, seven points in his face. Yeah, he did. Epic. Little barely keeper. Micro. Micro keeper. Let's see, let's make sure. We're just gonna hold him in the tank temporarily. He makes it, huh? Oh, easy. That's a 13 incher. <laughs> Watch out for the crappie. <laughs> it might beat you up. All right. Bass number three? Number three. Fish number six? That's right. We're in a pretty slow day out here, guys. We've got a cold front that just dropped the air temp 25, 30 degrees in uh, three days or so. Oh, here we go. Well, it's that time of day. We're gonna get kicked off these Southern California lakes guys look here we're sitting on some fish actually pink 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 but uh, it's been tough so yeah we're gonna let these guys go here's a nice little largey peace out little homie little code blue here's the the biggest bass of the day you guys ready Woo! look at that gut fatty. little fatty little mini tank yeah Thanks, honey. Go kill some more shad. You're doing a good job. And I had contemplated eating these things, but honestly, man, these are trophy sized uh, crappie. We're gonna let them go off and uh, do their thing. Oh, there's one. Oh gosh. There's two more. Look at that. There's a female here on my left hand, dark male on my right. Beautiful. Nice fish. Gosh, they're, they're ready to go. Alright, peace out, y'all. You know well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, uh, subscribe to my channel as well as this Big Bass Dreams channel. I'm Oliver Nye, my man D behind the camera here. Follow him on the ground and uh, leave a comment. 
turn your notifications on and uh, hit us with a like, man. What do you think, dog? You have a good time? I had a good time. Lost a fish, <laughs> but it was an experience. It was cool. I learned a lot, so I had a good time. Uh, Got some good photos, too. This place will uh, humble That's all I wanted was the photos. Yeah, excited to share some of those uh, photos with you guys. Yeah, so you guys make sure. Soon. Yeah, follow him on the ground for yeah. those photos. Damien Parker, Barranco, you'll find me. Oh, man. It just sounds cool. Rolls off the tongue. It's a long one. Yeah. <laughs> all right, y'all. We're out. Catch you guys in the next one. Appreciate y'all. Peace. So. Gave this freshwater thing a try. It's definitely different. It's slower. It's a lot more peaceful. I don't have a captain yelling at me. Um, but I learned a lot about uh, you know color presentation, uh, visibility, how it how it affects behavior of fish. And uh, I lost the fish today. I lost the crappie. I'm setting the hook like it's uh, something out of the ocean. And it's a quite different story with a delicate mouth like that. So, hoping to come out tomorrow, catch some, some bass, some crappie, something. Um, I did succeed in getting the photos I wanted, which was cool. Um, but yeah, hopefully just keep learning with this guy, Oliver. He knows what he's doing. Did something right today six times and got six fish, so. I gotta keep learning from him and keep keep going forward. And uh, we'll see you soon. Keep taking some photos. <laughs>